The way that I first started looking at it was really this investigation of vice entrepreneurs. So I spent time at Ashoka working with a lot of entrepreneurs who were working for the social good, were working for systems change. And then I, ver I got interested in really thinking about, well, what are the entrepreneurs that we don't talk about? And who are the people on the fringes, in the informal markets, in the black market economies that are doing really interesting types of business? Um, you know, the street hustlers, the drug dealers, the anonymous collective, how are these types of organizations and systems working? And what was it that drew you to these people? Um, I think, to be honest, I just had a certain fatigue with the social good sector and the sort of, ha the sort of just, I guess I'd been in it for so long and so I got to a point in my own life where I was starting to question my own commitment to that space and feeling like I'd inhabited maybe a little bit of a martyr identity of always trying to push and drive change. And so I just wanted to escape that bubble a little bit and encounter people who I hadn't really met before and see what types of lives they were living. Do you think that's an issue in the social good sector, the martyr identity? I think so. I think a lot of Ashoka Fellows, for example, there's now a new initiative being started there where people really have to go into some of the psychological drivers for why they're doing that kind of work. Um, and I think some people are in it for fantastic reasons, but I do think um, I think you kind of have to ask yourself, if you're so committed and you're putting your all in something like this, what else is going on psychologically that's motivating you to do this? And what are some of the warning signs? <laughs> um, I mean, in the, I, think, I think you just see so many people with burnout, like in so many places, and, and with the work that I do with entrepreneurs too, this theme of resilience is just so important, particularly if you're working as a misfit within a huge company or an organization or you're trying to change a system, you can't be sprinting all the time. And so you have to find ways of really understanding which battles you should fight um, and developing practices to make you stay resilient when these systems are actively being hostile to the change you're trying to bring into them.